It's patch 10.1b and honestly not much has changed. Berserkers are in a better spot now while Ocean Mage and Rangers have potential to top 2. Six Light isn't as faceral anymore and it still can achieve a top 4 positioning while Sivir and Friends remains an S tier comp. So this week's video rather than bringing you guys a build guide what I'm going to be focusing on is what counters what. My name is Jinx JK and here's a quick piano intro. Alright, so today we're going to be on the notepad. Before we take a look at what counters what, we just want to quickly familiarize ourselves with what comps challenger players are getting top 4 with. So we do have our Sivir and friends. Up next we have our Berserkers. Then we have our Ocean Mage comp. And there is a second variation that is just Warden Inferno. And it does run summoners over the mages. Then we have Six Light. We do have Crit Twitch, which is four rangers, and it's trying to get the Un Infinity Edge Last Whisper on the Twitch. The Alchemistic comp is still popular and can top four, even top one. It's basically Warden Mystics with Singed Carry, and it can, in if you're not finding the Singed, use the Lux Carry if you have the items for it. And finally, Shadows can still top four, and it does have a win condition in Kindred 3 or Shadow Lux to get top one. So up first, we have Sivir and Friends. What do we know about Sivir and Friends and what does well against it? Well, it is crowd control. We need crowd control to be able to beat this comp. So the two comps that do well against this is Ocean Mage, the four warden variation. I'm going to show you that right now. So here we have our Ocean Mage with the or warden variation and you're looking to grab the umumu and malphite as your wardens these three wardens right here provide excellent cc to shut down the sivir to shut down the azir and up next we have that warden inferno comp i was telling you where you're dropping the vlad syndra and you're trying to get summoners in there let's take a look at that so here we go, you're going to be using the Zyra, the Annie Yorick for your summoners. Again, you're trying to use Wardens. Don't worry about 4 Warden. If you get a Warden spat, great, you can finish that off because you do want to run the Mystics in here. And same thing, if you do get a Light spat, you can finish that off as well. Okay, and the Zyra, a quick note is you can actually drop Zyra for a brand 2 in the late game. It's okay to lose Summoner as if you do have good items for the brand, it's going to be a just a better unit for that late game. All right, up next we got Berserkers. Here we go. What do we know about Berserkers and what can beat that? We're looking at a good uh, ranged damage that has a good front line to keep them protected. Well, what's the best version of that right now? It is, of course, Sivir and Friends. Okay, you got the beefy, beefy front line. Let's take a look at that build over here. So you got your front line over here with your two Wardens, Cloud Buff with the Yasuo, Aatrox. They're chilling while Sivir and Azir are dealing tons of damage. The Berserkers cannot get that splash damage onto the Sivir. They're stuck up here for a while. What else can do well against Berserkers? A well put together Ranger comp can deal with it. Okay. Now, this is a bit tricky. You basically need a strong enough board where you can start two starring your rangers on the bench before you get those uh, ranger synergies in. And of course, you want really good items. Now, something else that does really well into Berserker is Shadow. Why? Because Kindred has a built in anti heal and she can basically one shot the Olaf with good items. Let's take a look at those builds really quick. So we do have our ranger comp. You got your four rangers, Ash, Twitch, Kindred, Varus. You will eventually be looking to add in a Mumu Tarek, but you're using just any wardens in the meanwhile to keep the berserkers at bay. And then you have multiple variations. You can run shadows over here. You can run mystics. You can run poison, whatever you're finding along the way. And then we talked about the shadow build. So let's take a look at that. This is just a standard old Shadow Summoner Ranger Inferno build. Lots of good synergies. You're looking to upgrade these Wardens as two ocean isn't 
that great right now. But with the Seraph, Seraph's Rebadons, you're trying to put your Kindred right across from the Olaf and it will one tap him. Bye bye, Olaf. Up next, we have Ocean Mage. What do we know about Ocean Mage? Mystics does well against it and Poison does well against it. So there's two builds that can deal with that really well. So up first, we have the Sivir and Friends build, but the variation that runs for Mystic in it. So if you notice, Sivir and Friends, if not played right, can get countered by the Ocean Mage, but also Ocean Mage can do well, or Sivir and Friends can do well into ocean mage depending on which variations you're running i'm gonna put in brackets here for mystic let's quickly take a look at that variation here so this is the level eight for mystic variation in the yasuo janna karma and soraka soraka very important into ocean mages as that silence basically shuts them down completely now what else can do well into ocean mage we said uh, poison right poison is really good at it so we're going to be taking a look at an alchemistic variation that does run poison at its core and here we go we got wardens mystics again look at this we're, we're seeing a trend nautilus malphite and amumu you got your singed with your mystics and then you're just adding in poison to shut down those ocean mages i am going to be putting a link to all of these lulches builds down in the description so now for the rest of these builds they're not exactly countered by specific builds but it's more so items that deal really well with them so let's take a look at some examples uh here just down below so shadow what does really well against that you want the trap cloud because every good shadow player will be running a uh, seraphs on their kindred and right away she's alt like the first thing she's doing is alting you're placing a trap claw on your front line right opposite of the kindred for five seconds done she's out of the fight her whole team dies okay up next warden inferno you want to build qss against this as they just have so much cc make sure you're trying to get a qss on your carry okay up next over here for ocean mages basically you're looking to get a dragon claw and also hush does really well into them six light for this one it's just red buff you're looking to get the anti-heal or the morello okay now for crit which if you're seeing they're stacking infinity edges even just a single infinity edge you can look to get the bramble vest going on your front line and as far as berserker goes it's the same thing you want the anti-heal in morello and red buff because an olaf that can't heal is a sad olaf all right that's gonna do it for this week's video nice and short to the point hopefully this brings awareness to you for how important scouting is in this current patch if you enjoyed the video you you already know what you you know what to do uh that's gonna do it for today see you in the next one bye bye